kids here, but only one of them is my husband. We have been married for eight years and have a daughter together, but the only way I'm gonna figure out which one he is is by asking them questions, challenges, and finally eliminating them using these buttons right here. Starting with, what annoys you the most about me? She doesn't wear any deodorant. My husband knows I put on deodorant at least five times a day. Eliminated. You heard Rebecca, you're eliminated. Oh, man. Oh, that got messy. Preston did this challenge and he challenged me to do it. So let's see how well I know my husband. I gave hints to the other guys to make it harder on Rebecca. Oh, we've got your back. The mask they are wearing have built-in voice changers so I won't be able to recognize his voice. She chooses her mouth open. That's not true. Eliminated. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> She goes to the bathroom with the door open. He can stay. That might be my husband. She doesn't like PDA. True. She barks too much. <gasps> that could be Matt too. He's staying. She doesn't know how to cook. How true is that? So it's probably my husband. She stays up too late. Eliminated. There is no way I stay up late. I fall asleep so early. Head to the bathroom. She always talks during the movie. I'm not pushing that. That could be my husband. She snores way too loud. That's not my husband. He snores way louder. Eliminated. Head to the candy store. Sorry, Nine. You are not my husband. She steals my fries even after she said she didn't want any. I say I don't want fries, but I do want them. I can't help it. Do any of you guys do that? She eats the same meal over and over again. Who doesn't love a grilled cheese and tomato soup? She goes a week without washing her hair, and it smells bad. I use dry shampoo. But it's true. She's really messy and never puts anything away. Ew, gross. And I use hand sanitizer. 13, you are eliminated. Bathroom. She tries to sing with me, but she's really bad. <gasps> that could be mad. He gets mad when I do that. She shrinks all my t-shirts when she does the laundry. Eliminated. He knows I don't do his laundry. Go to the candy store. She makes me run with her. I'm just trying to help him not have to draw on his six-pack ass. She spends more time with Zadie than me. Okay, that's true. I mean, she's my rainbow baby. She sweats way too much when she works out. It's because I'm hydrated. She'll wear the same pair of clothes two days in a row without washing them. Okay, but Matt wears like this same outfit all the time. Stay in. She takes way too long getting ready. That could actually be Matt. He gets so mad when I do that. 20 stays. Matt and I made a huge bet on this challenge, and if I guess who he is and get it right, he has to get slimed. But if I get it wrong, I have to get slimed. And I just washed my hair. Let's see how well these boys know me with some trivia. What's my favorite color? Pink. Stays. What's my biggest fear? Spiders. Eliminated. Everyone knows it's clowns. Head to the bathroom. What car do I drive? A pink Jeep. I love that Jeep. What month was I born in? September. Correct. How many siblings do I have? Four. Correct. What's my daughter's name? Zadie. Okay, they could have Googled that though. What is my favorite sport? Gymnastics. True! How many dogs do I have? Two. Correct! Subscribe to Pause Them Dogs if you haven't. Where was I born? California. Not mad at all because I was born in Virginia! Eliminated! Head to the candy store. What is my favorite ice cream flavor? Strawberry. That is definitely not Matt. It's chocolate chip cookie dough, and I even would have taken mint chips, so eliminated. Head to the bathroom. What is my favorite holiday? Christmas. You don't like Christmas, you're not my husband. Zampiam, this one is gonna be a good one. What is our anniversary date? May 17th. The only way he could have known that is if he was mad. Maybe. Do I have my ears pierced? Yes. True. What is my Starbucks order? Black. No sugar, no cream. Ugh, that sounds terrible. Eliminated. Head to the candy store. Now that we're done with the trivia, it's time to give these eliminated boys a punishment. Before these guys leave, they need a little parting gift. Bye, guys! <laughs> I hope Matt wasn't in there. What was that? Nobody gets eliminated without doing a punishment. Parting gift number two. Hey! What's happening here? This is kind of fun. Half of the group has been eliminated.
eliminated and now we are down to the top 10 and I get to meet them in person. But before I do, I have a challenge for you guys. I need you guys to subscribe, turn on all on your notifications and help me by commenting below which number you think is Matt. I need your help, Sam fam. Since Matt and I had our daughter, we haven't had as much time to spend together. And so by doing this challenge, I wanna prove to him that even though we have a daughter, our bond and our connection is still really strong. Can we get blindfolded? What? Oh, blindfolded? We never agreed to have me be blindfolded. I didn't know what to do for this round. I thought that they could give you a massage. Oh, okay. You could kiss them. Uh, or they could eat sushi off of their ass. Okay, I'll do that one. But I thought that you should smell their feet. Instead? Come on. You're gonna have to get a little no, lower. I'm okay, I'm okay. Rebecca? Oh. Okay, fine. This is number 12. Get a good sniff. Not clean, so it could be Matt. Number 11. Mmm, it kind of smells like my laundry detergent. Come along for number three. Some texture, and they're fighting it, which could be Matt as well. Okay, well then get down and smell their feet if you have to oh, here. Oh God. I mean, it's not good. Number 17. Tickle their feet. Okay. I didn't even have to smell those. I think I'm good. Boy number five. Ah, it's sweaty on the bottom. Ah. Oh, oh, wait, 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 okay. Boy number six. How about we rub these feet on your cheek? Who <laughs> is Okay, okay, that one smells. Number 18. Okay, 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 uh, yeah. It could be Matt. We go to number eight. I think you should lick this one. Lick? Oh God. Rebecca, this is extreme. Preston never had to do this. You're not Preston, you're Rebecca Zamolo. Lick the foot. There. Oh, how many more? Only two. And you're at number 19. Oh my gosh. And remember, you have to eliminate someone after this. Okay. This is Matt, it's really annoying. Just give me the foot. <laughs> Oh. Why couldn't you have just done the like eating sushi off abs? I thought this was more fun. And finally, number 10. Okay, fine. Let me just go. Hey, wh where is it? Ah! Just give me a foot. Oh. Have I done it all? Yep. It's time for you to make a decision. Ugh. Honestly, that was the worst challenge ever. But after sniffing all of those feet, I would have to eliminate number 11 because there is no way Matt would ever smell that good. Head on out. Just kidding, I'm coming because I'm giving them a punishment. I call this punishment the MS, the manure stomp. Your feet might have smelled good, but they're not gonna smell good after you step in that. Then you gotta tell me what detergent do you use. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's bad. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave you there. And oh, no, 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 you're on your own. Congratulations, you all have made it to the top nine. Now it's time to go and take a five minute break. Now, they're all slow like that. They all think that they're taking a five minute break, but what they don't know is that we're moving on to the next round. It felt really weird. Insanely weird, man. I mean, she really held on to my foot. Oh, hello, Sonny. I'm Rebecca's mother-in-law. Spill the tea. Why are all these men in these sweatshirts? I think they're here to see the amazing Rebecca. Really? I mean, I don't really like her. You can say whatever you want. I've got nothing bad to say, honestly. Ah! Wow, look at us. Boys, do you mind if I have a little seat? Uh oh M Maybe we can get you a chair somewhere else. Oh, no, I'm just here to get the tea on Rebecca. I mean, do we really like her? We love her. Oh, love? Really? Suspicious. Ah! Oh, guess Rebecca's mother-in-law. You don't have to do that. We don't want you to fall. Oh, you're oh so kind. I don't know if my son would do that, though. He would for Rebecca. I Wait, spill the tea. I know we're all pretending to like Rebecca, but there must be something you don't like about her. Rebecca's not even that pretty. I mean, she has a long face and a big mouth and her voice. Oh! oh. Wait, oh. I'm so sorry! I'm, oh. I'm so sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm out of Three is eliminated! I don't believe that up to Rebecca! I'm gonna get up! No, 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 no. Told me what you said, and you know what? I'm glad she eliminated you. So drink this orange juice with a little milk. Enjoy or don't enjoy, because it's not gonna be good. Oh yeah, does that taste good? It's bad, but it's not that bad. Well, she also gave me her cane. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. Don't come back. <sighs> no. I've narrowed it down to our top eight, and honestly, Zamfam, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be, but I need to prove to Matt that we still have the connection. So, I'm bringing in a special guest to help me figure out who her daddy is. Now we are bringing in a special guest to help eliminate some of these guys. My daughter, Zadie. Zadie, you ready to find your dad? Let's start over here. Hi, Zadie. Is that good? Seems tasty. Okay, eight, that's a 
birthday. Hi, baby. Do you think 19 could be her dada? Who has a strong? Me and you. I think she likes five. Zadie, do you want to keep 18? Yes or no? Yes? No? Sorry, 18. You are eliminated. Now go to the corner. Oh, Zadie. Auntie Maddie is aggressive. <laughs> I think she likes 17. Hey, Zadie. Ooh, ooh. Here you go. Oh, you mm. gave her back her treat. She always loves that. Hola. Hola. Oh, her dad does know Spanish. Number 10. Zadie, how are you? Now I'm going to put Zadie on the ground, and Zadie, whoever you crawl to, is eliminated. You get to decide. Looks like Zadie's deciding who's about to get eliminated. Okay, where's she going? Oh! I'm sorry, Eight, but it looks like you are eliminated. Head over to the corner. Hey, hey, where are you going? Oh, no, Zadie. We got a runner! Hopefully it's not your dad. Get back here! I'm not getting punished! Yes, you are here, so I'm skunk spray! Oh! Ah! Why are you punishing all of us? Well, you all deserve! <coughs> Since my daughter eliminated you, it's time for a little dog food lotion, so... Oh, oh. I got this. Oh, okay. okay. You, you don't even want gloves? Oh, no. Okay, oh. I, I think that's... And just a little bit more. That's a little bit good for the punishment. Are you sure? I think okay. there's a lot more dog food. Oh, okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Definitely not mad. I don't know why I want sushi now. I trust my daughter Zadie and know that the people she eliminated is not Matt at all. But honestly, with this final six, it's getting tough and I am not sure who Matt is. There's a few that I think could be Matt, but I'm not sure. I need you guys to comment below which number you think it is and why. Hopefully, I don't have to get slime. Can we stop with the blindfolds? Don't worry, you're not smelling any feet, but we are feeling some abs. We? Yes, come on. <laughs> Lift up your shirt. <laughs> I just feel a hand. No, 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 no. That's definitely abs. Okay. And number 17. I don't know if Matt's been midnight snacking or not, but. You know what? We got more abs to feel. Sure. Number five. I smell something. Sharpie. Shocking because there is someone I know, Zanfam, that draws on their abs with Sharpie. Number 19. I'll just use my elbow. Wait, no, you gotta give a good rub. Let's move on to six. Oh. This person's definitely fit. It smells like like silicone or something. I just no. voice. Oh, it's gone. Those were some good abs. Now let's go to number 10. Okay, that was weird, Maddie. Thanks for not making it awkward. You can take off your blindfold. Okay. And do you have a decision on who you're gonna eliminate? After feeling everyone's abs, which was extremely uncomfortable, I think I've narrowed it down. Well, this round is not over. Why don't you head upstairs? Okay. Now everyone empty your pockets. Empty them on the tray and your number. Come on, number 17. Faster, faster. Hey, I said all your pockets. Ew, someone's been snacking. Come on. I don't have all day. That app challenge was super tough, especially because I was blindfolded. And I know that number five smelled like Sharpie and Matt draws on his abs, but I am not sure. Hopefully Maddie can help. So I had all the guys empty their pockets and this is it. Thank you, Maddie. This is super helpful. Let's start off with number five, the nunchuck. Oh my God. Okay, Matt obviously uses nunchucks. He's used it on Piper Raquel. And I knew I smelled Sharpie drawn on abs and a wrapper. Pennies. Matt does eat a lot of potato chips and candy, so maybe 10. 19 has snacks too. Do they all just snack all day? Oh, Matt does love Swedish fish. This is his favorite candy. This one has money. Call me? Does that mean Matt might be cheap? Uh, wait, no. This is definitely not Matt, and if it is, I'm gonna call this number then. You know what? Just gonna, I'm gonna take this too, just in case. Just in case, Zamfam number 12 is Matt. We got some evidence. And some money. Matt wears glasses. A race car. I don't think that that would be Matt, but this says, you are good enough, you are strong enough, you are handsome enough. <laughs> 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 Matt does have affirmation though. Peanut, but this could be a decoy. I mean, I don't know if Matt's trying to sabotage me. He wants me to get slimed and he does not want to get slimed. A ton of these guys could be Matt, but there is one item on here that I know for sure Matt would never have. After Maddie had me feel people's abs, I wasn't quite sure who I was going to eliminate, but then you guys emptied your pockets and you all had questionable things that Matt would keep, except one person had something that there is no way my husband would have. And that is a New England Patriots keychain because he is a Broncos fan. So 17, you are eliminated. Oh yeah, punishment. I'm gonna do this one. You have one minute to find the cricket in the rainbow colored popcorn or you get another punishment. Time starts now. Better hurry, you're gonna run out of time. 
I can't find the cricket in here. That's because it's not in there. It's in here. <laughs> Doors that way. I think I know who that was. Comment if you know too. I love slime and I forced my husband to make slime, which means he's actually pretty good at making it. So you guys have to impress me with your slime. You have two minutes and I'll be back. So enjoy. Now get going. How do you make slime? Use a ton of glue, not too much activator. I've done this so many times, you have no idea. Well, it just looks like pudding. I can make this for Rebecca for Valentine's Day. Easy, don't talk about Rebecca like that. This slime challenge is fun, but hopefully it will help me narrow it down as to who is Matt, because right now, I don't know which one it is. Obviously, I don't want to get slimed, but most importantly, if I guess wrong, this could make me question our entire relationship. Okay, that is time. Let's see this slime. Bowls down, bowls down. 19. This is a lot of activator. Uh, not bad. No, this is five. Let's see, Zamfam, what do you guys think about this slime? Oh, it looks like you could have mixed it a little longer, but honestly, pretty good slime, number five. Number 10. This is even slime. This just looks like blood. Number six. Pick up sticks. Not bad at all. Five. Number 12. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Not bad. I know my top three, but now I'm going to announce my bottom two. Number 19 and number 10, please step forward. You two are in the bottom two, and how you choose to answer this next question will determine if I eliminate you. What slime have I made with you in a video? Butterfly slime. Slay slime. I have made neither of those slimes. I'm not even sure they are slime, so both of you guys eliminated. Head over there. All right, the mango hot sauce and condiment pools are ready. Mango? Zamfam, I'm worried. I think number 10 might be Matt, and if it is, he is allergic to mango, so if he gets that pool, this could be bad. Time for both of your punishments, and now it's time to reveal the pools you both are in. Oh no, it's the mango hot sauce. And the expired condiment pool. Climb on in. If you're allergic to anything, you should not go in. You can get out at any point. Are you okay? No, it's just kind of itchy. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Get the clothes off as fast as you can, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Oh no, this could be bad. There's towels over there. <gasps> Zamfam, do you think that I eliminated Matt? If I did, hopefully he doesn't have an allergic reaction. Show you each have 30 seconds to impress me with your talent, and we're gonna start with number five. Not bad, number five. Number six. Let's see your talent. And the rockets wreck there. The bombs bursting in there. Gave proof to the night that our flag was still in there. Not bad. I wish I could hear the real voice, but still sounded pretty good. And now number 12. Let's see your talent. Oh. 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 Nice job, number 12. All of you guys had amazing talents, and honestly, I was pretty impressed. But one of you guys did something that my husband Matt would never do. Now, my husband has been working out and doing push ups, but you did a one armed push up on your left hand, and my husband is right handed. So, number 12, you are eliminated, and you have to do a punishment. I got this one. Number 12, I think I know who you are. I recognize those abs. Hope you like this pregnancy simulator. <laughs> I don't know what you say, but it's going higher! Uh, well, it, the butt up. That's what you get for not calling me back! Uh, Please, power! Whoa, 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 whoa. Get these off me! So sorry! She's a loca! You deserve that! I think he wants to go on a train or something. Final two, five and six. This is it. I'm gonna be going on a date with both of them and hopefully at the end, I will be able to figure it out. I am so nervous that I'm going to pick the guy that is not my husband, Matt, and I think he'd be devastated. Let's hope I get some answers in this date. How are you feeling? I am nervous. It is down to the final two and I don't even know if Matt is in there. Okay, well you are about to go on a speed date with each of the guys and remember every question matters. No pressure or anything. I mean, you could get slimed. 
Hello, number five. Hello, allow me. Thank you. Hello, number six. Hello, Rebecca. Is that coke for you? Well, since we're on a date, I have a few questions to ask you. If you were defending me, what would be your weapon of choice? Nunchucks. Nunchucks. If you were on a deserted island, what three items would you bring? You, Zadie, and a boat to get off. My glasses, my best camera, and obviously you. What did you want to be when you were younger? A singer. A performer. Where did we get married? San Diego. Okay, but where in San Diego? Poway. Okay. What is your favorite thing about me? I love that you're so generous. From the first day that I met you, you just wanted to make everybody else around you happy. And you always did the most, no matter how inconvenient it was for you, to make sure that everybody was good. Your perseverance is the most endearing quality that you have. No matter what obstacles in your way, you always find a way to overcome it. What is our favorite vacation spot? Well, we were like just there, Big Bear. I love that place. It used to be Big Bear, but we've fallen in love with Maui, Hawaii. What is the biggest obstacle we have overcome? Being together for all this time. Having our daughter Zadie is one of the most difficult things we've gone through, but I wouldn't have changed it. I still wouldn't. Thank you, number five. I have got to make my decision. This was a very tough decision. Both of you guys said things that I know my husband Matt would say. You had a lot of the right answers, but at the end of the day, I have to trust my gut and choose to eliminate number five. But since you made it in the top two, you don't have to do a punishment. Thank you. It is now time to find out if you chose your husband or someone else. Take off your mask. Okay. Even though we had Zadie and our lives have gotten busier and different and we have one more person, we still have the same connection we did. Got it. <laughs> I did you, I was so nervous. Wait, that means I have to get slime still. Yes, no! Matt, it's time to get slimed. Oh, man. Wait, Maddie, can you help me? Two of you guys doing it. What are you doing? We're doing this together. Oh! My sister. Hi, I'm Rebecca's sister. Hi, I'm Rebecca's sister. Hi, I'm Rebecca's sister. We are gonna see how good of a sister Rebecca is by doing a list of challenges. And if my sister guesses wrong at the end, she has to do an extreme punishment. Rebecca's nephews will push her in the world's grossest pool. If Rebecca makes it to the end, this will be the most emotional challenge she has ever done. This is about to be the biggest test of my life, and if I guess right, I'm gonna give my sister a gift she will never forget. Challenge number one. Share an embarrassing moment from Rebecca's past. What? Your clothes never matched when we were in elementary school. My my sister knows I wore a school uniform! Eliminate it! Get over here! Punishment! <gasps> you are not Rebecca's sister! <gasps> that girl was too tall anyways. You always farted loud when you were in public. Eliminate it! My farts were silent. You're coming with me! Only gonna get worse. When you cheered for the opposite team when they scored a touchdown. Football's confusing. You had a bowl haircut and hairsprayed the tail in the back. I can't help that my mom picked my haircut. No, she didn't. Next. You always snort when you laugh. Eliminated. My sister's the snorter, not me. Get out of here. Our mom made us take the cringiest photos. That could be my sister. We have a lot of those, but hopefully no one ever sees them. You made all those cringy videos when you first started doing YouTube. That could be my sister. She's seen everything. You cried when we went to the petting zoo because you were scared of the animals. Okay, those lambs were really scary. Could be my sister. You wouldn't dissect a frog, so you got a C in science class. That's true. I'm sorry. I just couldn't do it. Did you try to hike up a snowy mountain with boots and a bikini and fell? Could be my sister. Who wears a bikini in the snow? I guess Rebecca does. You you once laughed so hard that you peed your pants. I peed my pants a lot, but it wasn't from laughing. You eliminated, not my sister. Seriously? You did a backflip after a high school track meet and you didn't even win the race. I got solid second place. Could be my sister. You got stuck in a drain trying to prank the neighborhood boys. They ran really fast. I'm the only one that can fit in that drain. It's just to get more embarrassing. You got a perm because you thought it looked cool, but then your hair broke off. I instantly regretted that. I don't know what could be worse on Rebecca than a perm. You used to perform cringy dance routines with me and our other siblings. That could be her. You're safe. 
You were told you would never be a gymnast because you were severely pigeon-toed. That is true, but I did become a good gymnast. I could be my sister. You fell down the aisle at my wedding. I may be pigeon-toed, but I didn't trip. Eliminated! Get your facts straight, number 18. You had big teeth and an overbite, and Dad called you Bucky. I grew into my teeth, and yes, I had to get four teeth pulled. That could be my sister. You were trying to show off in dance class when your skirt came up, and everyone saw. Okay, why is this so embarrassing right now? I don't want everyone to know that. I'm finding out more and more about Rebecca with every gen. If Rebecca thought that was hard, just wait until the end, because it is going to get emotional. These five are not my sister, and now it's time to move on to trivia. Hi, Hi I'm Rebecca's sister. sister. Do I have four? You could have Googled that. Correct. Am I the oldest or youngest of my siblings? Youngest. No, wait, uh, middle. Eliminated. Shout out to all you oldest kids out there. Contestant number five. I was a professional cheerleader for what football team? San Jose SaberCats. Correct. How many subscribers do I have on my YouTube channel? 14.2 million. Subscribe. I mean, subscribe to her. Correct. What is my all-time favorite food? Easy nachos. My sister knows that. Mm, you're safe, eight. What age did I start training as a gymnast? 12. Eliminated, I was much younger than that. Oh, you're not Jen! What is my daughter's middle name? Hope. Could be my sister. Nice job, Jen. You're safe. What's my daughter's favorite song? It's a bit of spider. Went out the water spout, down came the rain, and you're not eliminated. That could be my sister. Hey, you could be Jen. What was my nickname growing up? Wreck it back. What? I'm gonna wreck Nickname is that? <laughs> What's my favorite vacation spot? Hawaii. Correct! My sister's gone there with me. That could be her. You're good. When's my birthday? September 28th. Go Team Libra! You got away with an easy one. When did I first start YouTube? 2005. I don't even think YouTube was a thing back then. Eliminated. What kind of answer is that? 17, what is my favorite type of slime? Butter slime. It's just so satisfying. Nice. How long have I been married to Matt? Nine years. Correct, my sister was my bridesmaid. That could be her. Number 20, how long can I stay in a handstand? Five seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wrong. Eliminated. Jen would know she's a gymnast. Get out. Time to give those not my sisters a punishment. None of you are my sister, so now it's time for a punishment. person. My sister and I are extremely close and she has always been there in my most difficult times. But now that she lives six hours away and we're both parents, it's been harder and harder to keep that sister connection. So today I want to prove to her that we still have that sister bond and that I can be there for her like she's always there for me. Rebecca has been eliminating imposters and if her sister is still there on the final challenge, I'm pretty sure she's going to cry. For challenge number two, I brought in a special guest judge. So let's meet her. Zadie, and she loves her Auntie Jen. So for this round, they are gonna have to make her smile, otherwise they're eliminated. Number three, you're up first. Make her smile. <laughs> Zadie is not amused, I'm sorry. You are eliminated. Let's go. Besides, my sister doesn't sing like that. She's much louder. High five, Zadie. Good girl, we got this. Contestant number five, oh. Your Auntie Jen knows you love balloons. Do you like that? Yeah, do you want to keep it? You're staying number five. Number seven, you're going to have to impress her with more than a balloon. Four wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. round and okay, round. you're staying. Don't be late, number eight. Get her to laugh. Baby, how are you? You look so cute. You did it. You talked a lot, and my sister definitely talks a lot, so you can stay. Hey, okay, number ten. <laughs> Oh, Zadie. Okay, 10, you are staying. Number 11. Hola, Hola, princesa. Zadie loves Spanish. You are staying. I'm not sure if my sister knows Spanish, but you know what? She would learn it for Zadie. This pump, Zadie. High five. George. Okay, you might be my sister. You can stay. Pound it. Number 15. Make Zadie smile. Zadie, can you hold my hand? 
I'm sorry. She is not into that. You are eliminated. Let's go. She's gonna get a punishment. Hi, Zadie. How are you? Can you say mama? Aw, okay, you can stay. Aw, I love you. My little helper is helping me find my sister. You can stay. All right, Zadie, thank you so much for helping me. I'm getting one step closer to finding my sister and your auntie. Can I do this? I got this, you're right. Zadie eliminated you both, now it's time for your punishment. I'm getting in on this one. Go! <laughs> this is taking too long. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, get out of here. That better not have been Jen or she's gonna kill me. You all are lucky you're here. Now get out your phones and order Rebecca her favorite meal. I have somewhere to be. Two girls were eliminated and they are definitely not my sister. But there are two girls in that last round that stood out and could be my sister. Seven and 19, both sing songs that Jen always sings to Zadie. So right now, seven and 19 might definitely be my sister. I really hope I guess right so I can give my sister this gift that she will never forget. The next challenge is ready. All your sisters order your favorite meal. If they got it wrong, eliminate them. Oh, okay, well this challenge is perfect because mama hungry. Okay, well it looks like you guys ordered my favorite meals from different places. Start with you number five. A cheeseburger and fries. Onions, I hate onions. But I didn't order those, I said no onions. Could have been a mistake. Okay, number seven. This looks like pizza. Let me see what kind of pizza this is. Mmm, pizza hot cheese pizza. Just like when we were kids. Only my sister would know that. Okay, number eight. Nachos Bel Grande from Taco Bell. I get that, but I did say that earlier. You've ordered it for years. Nice job, number eight. Number 10, chicken McNuggets. But why did you give me two sauces? Because you always change your mind. I don't change my mind on this, but true. That could be my sister. Oh, number 11. These udon noodles look delicious. Sister knows best. Yes, sisters do know best. If you are my sister. Number 14, I see you ordered me a meal from Burger King. A Whopper, Junior. Thank God, no onions. And what is this? A Coke? All right, number 14, it looks like you made this Whopper my way. Mm, it's good every time. Number 17, okay, Zam fam. Do you know what this is? I do, it's from Jack in the Box, and it is a sourdough Jack meal, and my sister knows when I go to Jack in the Box, this is what I get. Looks pretty good, nice job, number 17. If that's my sister, that's the first time she's been quiet. All right, and now we're moving on to number 19. Chicken wings, I do like them. Oh, these are hot. These are spicy. I hate spicy. Maddie, where's Maddie? Oh my God. My sister knows that I hate spicy. I have to eliminate you, number 19. And I'm sorry, number five. I hate onions. You put onions on my burger. You two, head that way. You're eliminated. Number 19, enjoy this mystery drink from a shoe. Sip up, buttercup. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you sleep at mom's house, you better be careful. What? You know, that's enough. That's enough. I'm what? Gonna get you. what? Oh no, Zamfam. That might have been my sister. Number five, you can slip inside your way out of here. That's what you get, number five. <gasps> Thank God I'm wearing this. Hey, hey, hey. Number five. Got my order wrong, which means they are definitely not my sister. But number seven knew that we had Pizza Hut growing up as kids. And number 17 even knew that I order a sourdough jack. Not everyone knows that. Seven and 17 might definitely be my sister, but this is getting a lot harder than I thought. How are you feeling? I was feeling confident before, but now I'm not really sure. You know what? I think I need to take a five minute break. Can you tell them? Yeah. Honestly. Okay. Jen, I know you're here and you're my older cousin, but everyone just take a five minute break. No, get up and get out now! The girl taking a break, but I need to figure out who my sister is, and my sister is a nurse and can handle stressful situations. So I decided to order a pizza. Did someone order a pizza? Pizza, pizza delivery. I know we didn't order a pizza. Apparently you did, because I am Marco, and I look at the app, and it looks like you guys ordered a pizza. No, we didn't order one. Look at me. We did order a pizza. I know we're on the same page, so. <laughs> Cheese pizza, right here for you guys. Whoa! You got a trampoline with a foam bit? You think I could just like do a flip, you know? I had some ninja moves back in my day. Yeah, you know what? Go for it, Marco. All right, excuse me. Oh, oh yeah, just like the good old days. I remember when I used to do this ninja flip. It was like this. Can you take 
take Marco out of here. Yeah, come on, Marco. Thanks, Jens. Enjoy the pizza and the tomato sauce. Don't worry, Marco. It's gonna be okay. Marco is okay, but you all can head over for the next challenge. Except for you, number 14. You're not Rebecca's sister. Okay, Sam fam, I thought that prank would help me figure out who my sister is because she is a nurse, but I couldn't understand which one of them were talking. This is getting a lot harder than I thought. This blood's kind of good, though. We need to make this harder on Rebecca. Everyone, get out your phone. Okay, Jen, airdrop some photos of you and Rebecca to everyone. Number 14 is definitely not my sister but I thought that prank would give me more clarification as to which number my sister is she knows me inside and out and now I'm just worried that I'm not a good sister back to her like I don't pay enough attention and I want to give her this gift that she'll remember forever but now I'm worried I might not make the right choice I hope looking at her camera will help I am about to find the real Jen because only Jen has photos of me on her camera roll so everyone here you have five seconds to find a photo on your camera roll that proves that you are my sister Jen five Four, three, two, one. Okay, everyone, show me your photo. It looks like four gens are going home and I'm not going in the world's grossest pool. Number seven, let's take a look at this photo. That's my sister and I on swings in our backyard. I think I know who my sister is, but you know what? I'm just gonna look at the other photos just for fun. Number eight, show me your photo. That's Jen and I at Christmas. How do you both have photos of me? Okay, you know what? Narrowing it down to two is easier. Let's see number 10. I am eliminating somewhat. How? That is a picture of Jen and I with my aunt and our little sister. What's going on here? How do you all have photos? These are all photos that no one has seen but my sister. Okay, number 11. Me and my sister dancing in our PJs. Now I'm confused. 17, please say that you have, are you kidding me? That's when my sister was born. And that's me. Okay, you know what? Maddie, Maddie. Yeah, hey, hey. I can't figure out which one is Jen, so you know what to do. I need to eliminate someone. Hey, Jen. I need you to all to give me your purses right now. Give them to me, don't take anything out. I'll just take them for you. Yep. Don't think you're gonna hide anything from Rebecca today. Oh my God. Thank you. I have no idea why all of them have photos of me and my sister on their phone. Someone is definitely pranking me, but I am still figuring out who it is. Go through their purses. Thank you, Maddie. Number seven. Seven right now has a picture of a dog, hair ties, my sister always has hair ties, and a brush on a string. I've never seen my sister have this before, but she definitely wears a brush and hair ties because she works out a lot and she's on the go. This is number eight, pinch clip. My sister wears these all the time. Chapstick, oh, with sunscreen. My sister hates chapstick lips and she's always in the sun and this is a library card I know my sister does take my nephew to the library but a lot of people go to the library next number 10 ah, hopefully that wasn't my sister's okay gum can't remember if my sister likes that kind of gum I think this is a nurse's keychain maybe be my sister okay, next we have number 11 has glasses my sister wears glasses black lipstick I've never seen my sister wear black lipstick but you never know and Altoids my sister likes to have good breath just I'm sorry, I had onions earlier. The burger. Finally, number 17. There's a notebook, an airline ticket. What? The name's ripped off. That's not fair. Hold on, notebook? What does it say? Nothing. It's just a notebook and a pen. Wait. Oh, it's a birthstone necklace. Oh, this is red. This is a ruby. All right, Maddie. Thank you very much. I think I know who I have to eliminate. All right, you guys. You all had fun me on your phone. However, I looked at all of your purses. There was one that stood out. This right here is a birthstone necklace and this is a ruby for the birth date of July. But my sister was born in December, which means number 17, you are definitely not my sister and you are eliminated. You're coming with me, number 17. Now there are only four of you guys. Get stretched, because you're gonna need it for the next challenge. Hope you enjoy your cat food smoothie, not Rebecca's sister. Oh, 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 this is so disgusting. No, please, no. Okay, you know what, fine, get out of here, number 17. And then there were four. But of those four, Zamfam, I have no idea which one my sister is. So for this next challenge, I am gonna switch things up and make it a little bit more physical, because my sister and I always do acrobatic TikToks. This is the yoga challenge. Each of you guys has to do a yoga pose with me and hold it for three seconds. Number seven, you're up first. This is a yoga pose we are recreating. My sister is a base and she is super strong. Okay, we'll go here. Okay. One, 
two, three, pose complete. Okay, number seven. You're pretty strong, high five. About the same height as my sister too. Number eight, this is the yoga pose we are creating. Get on down, you're the base. You seem pretty strong, okay? Oh. Okay, Maddie. One, two, three, pose complete. Oh man. I did most of the work on that one. Number 10, we are recreating this pose right here. Okay, Maddie, get ready to count. Three, two, one. one anyways, number 10. Finally, number 11, we're doing this yoga pose. All right, you're the base, lay on down. Feet up, okay. She's strong enough, feels pretty strong. And, mat it. One, two, three, pose come up. Oh, thank God. Man, that's a lot more painful since giving birth. That was a difficult yoga challenge, but I know my sister and I could have done all of those poses, so unfortunately, number 10, you are not my sister. Punishment! Yeah. Hope you enjoy a pregnancy simulator. Oh, oh, oh. Let's take it to level 10. Oh, oh my God, this is forcing you to birth. Uh, uh, had two kids. I'm really sorry, Jen, please don't kill me. I'm oh, sorry. Buddy. And then it is down to three, and all three could be my sister. Number seven said that pizza at pizza is what we ate when we were kids, only my sister knows that. Number eight was definitely the strongest in the yoga challenge, and I'm pretty sure number 11 said she was a nurse just like my sister. If I get this wrong, then she's not gonna get the gift that she deserves. I think you eliminated your sister. <gasps> no, 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 my sister is definitely in these three. Are you sure? I mean, I think we're on the same page. Well, hopefully you have twin telepathy. Sisters are close and should be on the same wavelengths, which means you have twin telepathy. If you guess the same item as Rebecca, you get a point. Round one is Zamfam merch. Rebecca, choose your okay, item. Okay, we are starting with Zamfam merch, which you can get at RebeccaZamolo.com. All of us are wearing them, plus we just did a pre-order where you can get back to school backpacks and accessories, so make sure to pre-order it because it's going to sell out fast. Rebecca, hurry and choose. Okay, obviously, I have to pick what I'm wearing. Okay, I've made my decision. Jens, make your I choice. I really hope my sister and I are on the same page and we have twin telepathy. All right, the Jens have made their decision. Rebecca, what shirt did you I choose? I chose the neon yellow Zamfam gummy shirt. Looks like number seven and number eight, you both got a point. Sorry, 11, but you number didn't. Number 11's the nurse. That's okay, you know what? Sometimes sisters get it wrong. We can still be on the same page and they can still win. Round two is sodas. Everyone, choose your you soda. I know my favorite one. Well, I'm actually gonna drink it right now. Rebecca, are you drinking no. it right now? It just fell. Okay, I made my decision. You are drinking a I soda. I chose Coke. Okay, I'm sorry, but number seven, you got it wrong, which means number eight is in the lead with two points, and number seven and 11 have only one point. Oh no, point. Zamfam, I think seven might be my sister. Maybe my connection with my sister is fading. Round three is candy. Everyone, choose There's your candy. There's one of these candies that I eat all the time. I actually get in trouble for it. Rebecca, please tell me you're not eating the candy. You never said not to. Are you eating more of it No, now? I'm done. Okay, please tell me you made your decision. I made your decision. It looks like only number seven chose correctly, which means number seven and eight, you tied with two points, but number 11, you lost the twin telepathy challenge with only one point, which means, Rebecca, it's time for you to make a decision. 11 lost the challenge, but 11 is a nurse, which means that if I eliminate her, then I might be eliminating my sister. So, who's it gonna be? Number 11. Oh no, what have I done? All right, fake Jen, hope you're ready for a cockroach shower. No! 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 It all comes down to this, Rebecca. You and your sister have been through a lot, so I'm gonna give them each an emotion, and they have to give you a memory that best describes it. But be careful, this is gonna get emotional. I hope this helps me make the right choice. What's a memory of us that makes you happy? Celebrating your wedding with you and doing a flash mob dance together. When we recently got to spend time together in Maui with our families and watched our kids play on the beach. Something that made you sad. We found out that our parents were divorcing. We didn't know what the future would hold. I think I felt most sad when I had to come down here after you had your miscarriage and we just spent the day together. That was sad. I know, no crying in <laughs> What's a memory you have of me that made you angry? Not letting Zadie learn how to swim earlier. I hated how you woke me up in the morning and had to tell me I needed to rush so we could be in school early. You mean on time? Early. On time. What made you scared? I was so scared when you had to go through all those surgeries when you were having stomach problems, but I'm so glad that you overcame it all and came out even stronger. I was so scared 
when you had all your stomach problems and you had to go into surgery, I was just scared because I didn't know what was going to happen and if you were going to be okay. What is the best way I've surprised you? When you helped me pay off my student loans, that was a big surprise for me and it meant so much. Oh, I love being surprised by you finding out you were going to have a girl at your gender reveal. I knew you wanted it so bad and it was so fun to be a part of that. Thank you, number seven. Thank you, number eight. I really hope I make the right decision and the bond that I feel with my sister is real. Rebecca, it's now time for you to make a decision. Which one do you want to eliminate? And remember, if you make the wrong decision, you're going in the world's grossest pool. Okay, well, this last challenge was very emotional, and while most of those memories were very happy, some of them were memories that were really hard to relive. But one of you guys brought up memories that I've posted on my YouTube video, and my sister has memories of us that no one's ever seen on camera. I'm gonna have to eliminate number seven. I don't think you're my sister. Rebecca, you've made your decision. If you're right, you win. But if you're wrong, you're going in the world's grossest pool. I'm ready to see who she is. Number eight, we went through a ton of challenges together and I really think that you are my sister. So take off your mask. Since I got it right, Jen, you've always been an amazing sister to me. And sometimes I feel like it's hard and I can never pay you back. So I want you to just open this. Oh, I love it. It's a picture of us in Hawaii. Wait, but look at the back. Stop it. Jen, because I know so how tough. hard you work for your kids so that they can play sports. And you're an amazing mom, an amazing nurse. I wanted to just give that to you. <laughs> just in case you guys don't know, that was a check for $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe you picked me, even after Matt was cheating. What? You tried to get me to not pick Jen? No. Hey, guys, you know what to do? No, 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 no. no, no. Take hey, him hey, to hey, the hey, pool. Hey, no, no. Do not do this, guys. Whatever you do. You're it. Yes. Yes. What? No, no, no. no. Are you kidding me? I'm getting you guys back right now. 